Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Master of Time So this, I believe, takes place after, um After Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask Because the other one that we played, the um the missing link was before Majora's Mask. It was like after Ocarina of Time, before Link uh, wound up in Terminal. So this is after all of those. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Did it freeze on me? There we go. <laughs> hey, wake up! <laughs> wake up, I said. You have slept enough. Oh man, I probably need, I need to think of a better place for this fairy because I feel like I recall this being quite a long game. I've actually never played it, so this I'm going in blind, so you're gonna be getting my genuine reactions here for the first time, which also means I'm gonna be wandering around lost a lot, so you see let's make the fairy a a boy. They always seem like they're girls, so. Ah, finally, the Owl Oasis. I just saw him. He thinks he knows how to break the time curse. Take this world map of Bella. I'll add the locations later. Oh, seems someone stole your shield while you were sleeping. You can never trust those peasants. <laughs> oh, those peasants. My golly. Alright, so what's the pause me? Ooh, hey, look at that! That's so cool! I love that map. I mean, it's kind of, it's a little messy, but at least they did something. I have, um, cover boots? How do I equip them, though? Won't let me. That's weird. Hey, I got a message, or a letter in a bottle, too. Alright. Hmm? You don't remember where... You don't remember where did you get this bottle, okay? I feel like I've, I've also heard people talking about the, um... The text, like the... Story and stuff, being a little... Broken, or whatever. I'll, know, I'll try my best to read it the way it makes sense. Makes the most sense. Looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Good luck and have fun. Ha! <laughs> That's kind of cool. What? Okay, my. Uh, you see how my my hair, Link's hair, has changed colors. That's a, a issue with the graphics plugin. I had that issue with. Uh, Third quest, if you remember, his uh, his hair was taking on the the uh, texture of the of his uh, wooden shield or whatever. So, hang on, give me just a second and uh, go ahead and fix my graphics plugin. 
All right. So now our hair is normal. That's cool. Is, is it like? I can't tell if that's like curtains or if it's. Yeah, I guess that's a painting. It almost looks like it's just blood right outside. What? Oh, the wall was like right there. This is already like giving me um missing link vibes you know just like we're in like a hotel further apart. Well, alright then. Oh, hey. I saw that. Can we get it, though? Of course we can. Heck yeah. straight down the stairs. I was a little scared, not gonna lie. Do they make all this custom stuff? This is cool. Let's see, I forget. Uh, where did I? I forget what my... There we go. I'm using a different, um, controller configuration, but... Whoa, they even, like, made the box small? That's kind of weird. There's just so much, like, design work. It's crazy. Oh, you're finally awake. You must have been exhausted. Welcome to Sagnol Village. There's a museum and a shop in our village. You can buy a shield there. If you need one. You mean, if I need one. And why do you just randomly bring up a shield and where I can purchase one. As if you were aware that I previously had one. Something smells. You guys like my hat? Try to like match all the theme. We got black and yellow going on. just noticed that my cropping on my game thing messed up. Okay. I think everything, yeah. There's the rupees. Alright, we're good. I don't even know how that happened because it was fine, like, whenever I was like, okay, I didn't, I did start it before I recorded, but I didn't play anything. I just went through the, that, uh, intro cutscene until I got to the save file menu. 
Okay. Is everyone here yet? Here's some story. I worked hard, and I now have enough money to buy medicine. Okay. <laughs> you know, this is, um, uh, English is definitely not their first language. So I see uh, what people were talking about. Yeah. Anyway, I worked hard and I now have enough money to buy a medicine for my cousin. I'll go into town. And... All right, so he's got money somewhere. That's what I'm taking away from this. Um. Kind of weird how they like made this like a chest. Isn't that odd. Huh. Why would they put the chair right over there? It almost looked like that was another place I could go. Nope. Alright. Can I get in here? Okay. I was gonna say, if there's no one sleeping in here, I'm getting out. <laughs> Medicine is 20 rupees. What is this thing? I feel like these paintings are gonna be important. Is anyone else getting that vibe? Just me. Dude, wake up. Mm, got the money you're safe. Wait, did I skip something? this bottle it looks like there's something already inside this bottle it's a letter okay why did I think that that said uh, a different text I don't know. okay is that all I came in here for is just to steal his money <laughs> oh, okay go bad dude how's he gonna afford a medicine now <laughs> Wait a minute. I got a tw I got 20 rupees, but somehow I have 11 in the corner there. How how does that work? I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> See, maybe there's like different values. You know? One. We can get like a blue one, maybe, and then we'll test the value. But no. What the heck? Did Okay. It did say 20 rupees, right? Dude, this is so... It's cool, but like, the textures are so muddy. Like... They tried too hard to get the like, details. And with polygons and Nintendo 64, like, you can't do that. I mean, there's like a reason why background and stuff like and walls in Ocarina of Time are muddy and uh, out of focus. It's to draw focus to actual like objects within the game. And here they just have like everything with the sharpness turned way up and it's just like it's so overwhelming. I can't catch that Kuko. For anyone that doesn't know, it is Kuko. Okay. I 
I always said Cuckoo, and other people said like Cucko, or Cuckoo, and then Nintendo. Like, officially said Cuckoo. Hey kid, you wanna go to a bell sound? You need to light the torches near the gate to open. This gate was built to protect the children. The whole field can be dangerous. That guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about. He's got the beard. He's got the, the wife beard. Can I... Why do I have... This is another game where you can put Peggy Six as an adult. Because if that's the case, then I can totally do a... I guess I could do the bottle too. But I need bug. Uh, but I'd rather see if I can do the operator. Funny story about that, you like uh, how you can do things to manipulate. And I don't remember if I've already like. Um, Explained it before. I feel like I have, maybe. Um, but if I haven't, I'll explain it if I ever get the chance to do it. But um, like bottle duping, like where you just like you trick the. Uh, what the heck? So James, you ready to save the world again? The flow of time is never restored. We'll have a lot of troubles. You encounter many dangers in Abellum. People and monsters are getting restless. Although the Zoras bring some stability. But you will discover this for yourself soon enough. Your first step is to explore the scrub cliff behind me. To find what you need there. You must visit Abellum Town. You may find more information in the town or in the castle. I'll gather information as well. Good luck. Get all that? Oh, I yeah. Yeah, let's bring that back. Everyone missed that. Alright, I'll see you around. Hoo, 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 hoo. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad that uh, the owl interrupted me because I was kind of dragging on because I wouldn't focus. But long story short is I... Uh, I figured out how to like bottle dupe and um, operate a dupe and all that stuff like completely by accident and by myself like not intentionally trying to do any of those things. Whoa, this um, the inside of here kind of reminds me of uh, the store in Twilight Princess in Orden Village. So we got bombs. Art, Daiki Nuts, got arrows, and Daiki Sticks, what up dude? I don't like your face, buy what you want and leave my shop, what the heck? Jeez. Alright, so we gotta get the Daiki Stick to um, light the torches, Aver Bees. Oh. <laughs> that was the entire climax. 
Ooh, but you can't get down there. Okay. Means. Oh, I see there's a bottom little rock down there. Wish, uh, our fairy would talk to this. See, is there anything that I can... Taking so long. Was there not like a fast text option? <laughs> uh, okay. Chicken for the Kuka, but uh, into the streamers and uh, YouTubers that I watch where they start playing a game and end up wasting like 40 minutes to an hour and a half doing dumb crap. What? What is that? Oh, that's the uh, Deku Clips or something? Okay. Oh, this is maybe how I'm supposed to that. They are different. Did you see that? It went from 11 to 13. It's a blue. It, it's two. What the heck is a red? Okay. Let's see what this was up here. Loading time. Sagnol Tomb, please respect the dead. Well, alright. Um, I think that's a good place to stop today, guys. Jeez, this, there's a lot more to this game than I uh, anticipated. But, hey, I like it so far. Um, let me know what you guys think of it so far. Yeah, drop down in the comments if you are enjoying it. Go ahead and hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if 
turn out that you aren't really interested later, then you can always unsubscribe later. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.